So imagine if you have a budget, right? And that budget says max about $300. Get a smartphone, do some gaming on it, and have a good time. <laughs> it's a little rough, right? It's tough. Well, I've got a device for you that I think will do all that, plus take some good pictures, all in a package that's sub $300. Let's find out. So the device I was talking about is the Redmi Note 8 Pro. This is a sub brand from Xiaomi, and I really like what they have to offer here. Now I've got the all white version, and pricing for this device right now starts at 257 bucks. So what do you get for $257 on a device like this? You've got um, a 6.53 inch display, 1080p, with a dimple notch, which is fine, it's good. You've got a headphone jack, that is really nice, and you actually do get some good audio from it. Uh, USB Type-C, of course, for charging. It comes with an 18 watt charger, and we'll move up to a 27 watt charger. Now, at the back, we've got the 64 megapixel camera um, there, and we've got a 20 megapixel camera in the front. Fingerprint sensor is at the back, which is nice, works really well, it is super fast. Each time you tap on it, it basically unlocks your phone as fast as possible. Now, under the hood, we have uh, a MediaTek Helios G90T processor. This is a processor that's get geared for gaming and should give you close to mid to high end gaming performance. But you're wondering, what does that actually mean for gaming? Well, you know, combine that, of course, with, you know, six to eight gigs of RAM, uh, you've got something that really pushes gaming to the next level for this price point. Because again, you're spending $257, you're not expecting much. So let's take a look at Call of Duty Mobile, of course, which we love to play, and some PUBG. So gaming performance is really good on this device. Call of Duty uh, played really well. You can play other max settings. Uh, though PUBG, you can't. You can't play extreme, uh, but it still handled PUBG really nice and smooth. So you got a really good gameplay session from that. In terms of temperatures, it also runs really cool on temperatures compared to devices uh, that are top tier. About 96 degrees is what we got while gaming. So that made a lot of sense, and I like what I get from it. Now you've also got a game mode or game center, if you will. Uh, that shows you your, your FPS, your frames per second, your CPU performance, uh, different applications you can put into notifications and things like that, uh, and also shows you some game boost. So you've got that built in. And that Helios G90T processor really does a good job. I was quite surprised and impressed 
uh, especially when you think about where this device sits in terms of price point. Now, what else do you get? Now, we know we've got a nice display, it games well. You've also got, you know, a triple camera setup at the back, 64 megapixels. You've got an A2 and 2. You've also got a 20 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, in terms of the front facing camera, it does a decent job. That whitening effect is still there a little bit. Uh, now, the rear cameras uh, have a 64 megapixel mode. There's also a night mode as well, which I wasn't expecting to see anything fantastic. But I think the night mode has is is pretty good in in decent low light conditions you'll get that when you push the extreme low light conditions it cannot compete of course with this with top tier phones but for what you're getting at 257 dollars i can't complain and daytime photos also look really nice and good so i think it does a good job overall in terms of photos for a device that is priced under 300 bucks 257 Actually, again, I'm gonna say it, $257. It's really cheap, great performance. And I forgot to mention, it has a 4,500 milliamp battery. So your battery life is gonna be great. Great standby time. It's much better than actually a Samsung device. I like my Galaxy Note, but it doesn't compare in standby. Um, and I think a lot of people will like this device just because of its price point, what it brings to the table, what the Helios uh, G90 does in terms of performance all, all around. So if you have any questions about the uh, Redmi uh, Note 8 Pro, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.